Hi everyone, here's a video on how to make color adjustments and apply filters and effects in Pixlr Editor Online to have some fun with some image editing. There's a lot of cool options on this, so get ready. Uh, there's a lot to this, um, but there's a lot of cool stuff, so let's go check it out. All right, so our uh, in Google Classroom, there is a link that will take you directly to Pixlr, which is right here at the top of the assignment. I could go ahead and open that and um, get myself to Pix Pixlr E or the editor. Um, but let's go ahead and find an image first. So I already have an image search done real quick. And again, reminder, you are going to click on the image. So it opens up here on the uh, right hand side. I'm going to choose um, about this looks like a good one right here. Now on the assignment, it does say that I do want to make sure you have an image that is at least 800 pixels wide. So when you hover your mouse over the image, it'll tell you right here in small numbers on the bottom left, 1440, that is the width by 960. All right, so this one is it. It's the first number that is the width. So this width needs to be more than 800 pixels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to copy where this image lives on the internet. So actually I'm gonna to go to copy image address, not copy the image, but actually the web address or the URL. So copy image address, and I'm gonna bring my top part of my Chromebook back, come back over to my Pixlr tab, and let's go to load URL, and it's gonna directly load that image into Pixlr and in this URL, box you can either control v or right click and paste and let's go ahead and load that image and it's going to bring it right here into pixlr editor all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy it's a good habit to never mess with your back with the original image itself okay just to be safe it's just a good habit so the first thing I'm going to do is on this background layer, the first thing we could do is up here at the top, we could go ahead and click on duplicate. And we're going to make a new layer right here. And I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to title it edited. And this is the one that we're going to do our modifications on. And this background, just to be safe and just good habit and just to know how we do this, I'm going to right click and change the name to original, which is also what I'll be looking for on this assignment. All right, now that we're on the original one, you must click back on the new one. This is the one where it says edited. All right, and what we're doing for the assignment is everything is gonna be up here under adjustments and filters. Let's go ahead and start with the adjustments. Now, this is really, I have a set list of adjustments that you do need to make for the assignment, but I would like you to just click around and see what these are all about, okay? We can't go over all of them and it'd be real boring to to watch me go through all of them. So I want you to click around, have fun, check all these out. Um, some of my favorites are hue and saturation. This is gonna be part of the assignment. And we'll, I'll do a quick discussion, but this is really gonna be for you to check out. Saturation is the amount of color, okay? Uh, for one of them on the assignment is to desaturate. If you take all the color out, it turns into a grayscale or black and white image. So that is the saturation. You are oversaturated in color. Now, if you want to get right back to zero, you can highlight it and type zero if you want. Now, hue is the actual shade or color of it. You could change this real quick and easy way to edit to the hue or color of this image. Now, if you change the hue and saturate it, then you could add a ton of color. Now, what you're going to do is after you do this for the assignment, one of them is saturation, desaturate. So I'll desaturate it. You are actually not going to apply. I don't need you to apply these. At this point, all you are going to do is just screenshot at this moment. So while we're doing this, I'm going to, on my, I am on a Chromebook. I'm going to go control show windows, which is the one above the number six on a Chromebook. So control um, show window. And there, it just took my screenshot and it's going to leave it in my Google Drive. And let's just leave it there for now. We don't need to worry about that. And let's go ahead and click cancel. All right, the other adjustments, you're gonna look at posterize. We're gonna do color lookup. Um, and we're also going to do an invert. Now, let's say you do invert it, actually, and you actually click 
uh, you click apply, let's just go up or it actually happens. There's a couple things we could do on the history. We could either go up a layer, up a layer and that undoes everything that we have done. Okay. Actually, if this will redo everything, this will get rid of the copy I made and there's the actual original. But if you want to go forward in what we've done, let's just come back down of here. This is at the very end and I'm going to go back one layer because I did not want to apply that. So again, the adjustments, oops, a little bit too high there, adjustments. Let's go to color lookup, and this is kind of interesting. We could just do these color overlays. Oops, there's a problem here. Good. Let me go ahead and cancel this. This is, I almost made a big, huge mistake right here. Right now, I'm on the original layer. Actually, we're, we are okay because this layer is locked at the moment. Let me click back up to my top layer. There we go. Adjustments, color lookup, and we could apply these color overlays. Now, if you want, you could actually edit these colors by clicking up here on these little color swatches and we can change the color click on the black and here's the color change you could select any color you want in this selection change it from blue and click on the color right here and change it to whatever colors you want all right and again let's just take while we're at it we're gonna take a screenshot control show windows once we get it once we apply the adjustment just take a screenshot and we will worry about those later okay the other part and there these are all listed in google classroom on which adjustments i would like you to apply let's go and look at these filters now some of the filters are directly under this list um, mosaic we've done pixelate already um, and halftone is one of them, but a couple of them that I'm going to have you look for are under glitches right here. RGB split, I want you to check out. Details, blur, this is kind of interesting. You can change the amount of blur you apply to this image. Um, again, might as well, while we're at it, let's go in screenshot, control, show windows, boom, and we're just going to get all of our assignments done. Let's go ahead and click cancel this. You do not need to apply these filters. And the last but not least is this effects library. This is really cool. Spend some time here. Check these out. Play around with them. Especially these artsy ones are pretty fascinating. They're pretty cool to play with. Um, and also there are these sliders that you can adjust the size or how much you want to apply to it. This night vision, if you just want it to be a slight filter, then you could turn it down or keep it all the way turned up. And again, control show windows and we have this. Now, once we're all done, I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel on this. Once we are all done, let's go ahead and actually, let's clean this up. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Google Drive. Uh, and let's go to my files. And what you can do in Google Drive is find all of your files now I'm gonna make this, um, and these are all of my screenshots right here. Now let's just do something, I'll do this quick and easy. I'm going to find the folder where I want these for this class, and part of our assignment was you, to have a clean Google Drive. So uh, right now I've been putting everything in this Google Drive organization folder. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna go to graphic design, and I already have a folder, but I'm gonna make a new one for sake of this video. You can right click from here, right click and click on new folder. And let's just call this, I already have a folder, but for sake of the assignment, I'm just gonna call this filters or whatever you want, filters, enter. Now what I'm gonna do is again, you can click on this first screenshot, hold shift, click on the last screenshot, and we can move them all over at once to this folder right here. Now let's go ahead and rename these. Now to rename these, what I find is easiest is if we can double click on one of them. And when it opens up in the preview, we can actually change the name from here. So this is under effect and night vision. So I'm gonna come up here at the top left is the name of this file. And I'm gonna go control A to select all. And the file name is gonna be, this is BK dash, this is under effect and dash night vision. All right, there's, so there's the first one I have renamed. Go ahead and hit enter. And let's go ahead and click this right arrow. Go to the next one. Come up here to screenshot. Control A to select all. BK dash blur was under the filters. So this was filter dash 
blur and you get the idea. So this would be a quick way to, the, so we are, so it'd be real easy to, this was under um, the adjustment. So you might have to go back and forth to look these up, control A. Once it's highlighted like that, you don't need to hit even backspace or delete on your keyboard. Just type your initials, dash, adjustment, dash, color lookup. All right. So in there, you get the idea. Let me go ahead and close this. And now you can see I almost have all of my screenshots ready to turn in and upload to Google Classroom. All right. Hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Have fun checking out um, all of these adjustments and filters in Pixlr Editor. All right. Have fun.